good morning world literally because i know some of you guys watch from all over the world so thank you i've already got a coffee i've got some bacon on the go um this is for dessert uh, it's galaxy vegan it's gorgeous this caramel sea salt one i like that one um yeah and i'm gonna watch some youtube while i have some brekkie i'm gonna be watching two to uk's latest upload because i did not get a chance to yesterday because i was that busy doing my ebay bits so after breakfast and tooting, I need to uh, package up Evil Within 1 and 2. Because I didn't do that yesterday. Because I was just chilling. It's been a new on COD. No, I had some awesome games on COD. My God, I wish I'd have recorded them. I did so good on some of them. And we had a little sale. A small late night sale. Brock Sandslash for £2.95. Should be packaging them shortly. But first... Coffee, bacon, gaming video. That's these done. That's the uh, the games and the Pokemon card packaged up. Where has the day gone? Literally, it's like half eight at night. Um, yes, yeah, so I've, I've literally recorded my latest pickups video. It's basically, um, obviously not a car boot video game on but just literally like a lockdown video game pickups video um, that video games that i have accumulated over the last few months so that will hopefully be going on rather soon once i finished it, editing and everything so there's awesome games on there and um game related things uh, to show you guys crazy out here now and no it's not all mine uh, basically uh, it was digging up there for the christmas decorations and the christmas tree and all that so that's what all the black bags are um so yeah i have basically sold a uh, couple of things obviously that are packaged up and ready to go at some point so had another ebay sale sold these ultra bright christmas lights <laughs> uh, 40 of them it's like something like uh it's like 5.6 meters it is that's it uh, i literally got these for two pounds uh, they work absolutely fine as well um i'm sure they literally must be unused they come with like um i'll have to show you guys like a picture on screen stuff uh they, they come with like um like a remote sort of thing they've like, like got all uh different settings and stuff which is uh awesome it's got they've got spare bulbs and everything um yeah gorgeous set of lights these are so i bought these for two pounds at the car boot and uh, they have sold for 19 pounds 95 plus four pound 10 postage which is awesome also had another sale I have to move some stuff and dig deep for this. Um, I think it is down here. Yes, there we go. It is Zelda Phantom Hourglass. So this was actually originally a part of that um, forty pound uh, DS bundle that I got. So I've sold this for fourteen pound ninety five plus two pound seventy postage. So that's sold, which is awesome. I've also had just literally this minute had an awesome uh, sale as well. It's literally all this stuff in here. So it is. Um, the black wii console um i think it comes with yeah this one there uh, it was the more um expensive console bundle that i've currently got on the bay so it is um a black uh, remote and black nunchuck uh, it has to have a white back on it because the, the back was not present and obviously i've li listed all this in the description so i've got a white remote white nunchuck and yeah we've got a selection of five games uh, it's all been tested and everything as you guys will have seen anyway because i've edited in, in the, edited it in uh, one of the previous vlogs so we've got a, a wii sports loose disc um nice little bundle this to be fair you know for a, for a kid or whatever some alright kind of looking game so there's face breaker ko party night at the museum 2 uh, like i said i was tempted to actually even keep that for myself but um yeah i know you can get it on 360 after i looked it up on cx i'd rather own it on the 360 so i've included that fun fair party um that should be decent i, I love like fun fair game sort of games and uh monster 4x4 world circuit so this slot has gone for 59 pound 95 plus 6 pound 20 postage because i believe i can get it in as a medium parcel if not it will be a tenner but um i'm sure i'm sure it should go as like a medium for 6 pound 20 i'll show you guys a couple of miscellaneous items that i've uh, that i've come across um so a couple of uh, christmas tree decorations actually so i remember getting this when there was um uh, it's like a comic con um kind of convention it was called geek mart a local one it was um yeah like the other year so it's basically a like a pac-man uh, arcade machine i just thought it was really cool it was a nice uh, pac-man santa there and um yeah some painted ghosts on there and then like a maze that's like in the design of a, a pac-man style tree so i just thought that was really cool and then um, i you guys know i love my coffee i drink it all the time <laughs> especially like on the vlogs and stuff so um yeah costa were basically doing christmas tree decorations so uh yeah i just couldn't resist but get one of these <laughs> so i can't wait to uh pop these on the tree 
Polster is actually dressed up for once. She's got a jeans on and a six silk top. It's because I've um, obviously recorded the, uh, the pickups video. I'm actually dressed up for once. Oh, I forgot to show that actually. I always forget, man. There's always things that I end up forgetting to show on the pickups videos. Uh, I treated myself to this because I ordered some um, Christmas presents for one of my mates on uh, oh, what website was it? I can't remember if it was merchoid.com. It might have been that or a site similar to that so you know video game uh, merch and stuff so couldn't resist get a bottle opener for when i have my bottles of bud i most likely open this because it is awesome isn't it um so raccoon police department stars uh <laughs> bottle opener there's my pack of ribbon on there yeah this is like my you know like my go-to kind of <laughs> here we go some special editions there resi evil last was part two Death Stranding, awesome PS4 game that. Still not complete yet. It's got Norman Reedus in as well. Guy who plays Daryl from The Walking Dead. Uh, but yeah, it's just a bit chaotic on this because it, you know, it started off as like a Resi collection. Then obviously Death Stranding gate crashed it. So did Le Last of Us 2 at the top. And yeah, so did Paco Raban. And uh, I have Dove Men deodorant as well. It's just really nice. Uh, this one especially. It's very uh, neutral clean comfort that one is uh, it's very neutral that one um obviously uh it's quite full this as well i might have to raid that you know take it to the bank when i can uh, there's, a, oh, there's just all sorts here guys there's a limited i say limited it's a bit of a custom uh, made resi 2 ps1 console couldn't resist with that very extremely rare co veronica um yeah, i can't really say lego but you know them, them sort of type figures of um joe and chris there these are absolute these are like my pride and joy because i used to have these as a kid i had them obviously i, I never kept the boxes had them loose you know you rip them open as a kid um oh this was ages ago it's like a couple of years ago even over a couple of years probably a few years ago um the same seller had like um listed them all on ebay and i just literally i whacked in my highest bid on everything just bought them all because i was just like i want them for the collection <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's just my monster on the uh, bit of foundation. I don't usually put much on at all. It's only if I'm going out place or whatever. But um, yeah, it's just pretty hectic on here. A <laughs> couple of autograph things. Uh, when I've met um, Thomas Ian Nicholas, who plays Kevin in American Pie. Uh, so that is uh, an album of um, his band covering uh, songs from American Pie soundtracks. Then me and Pritchard and Dainton. Um, I thought that they were like got a proper smile on this because they're like, oh, big smiles. And then this is me with my mouth hanging open, like, uh, <laughs> like a proper geek. But yeah, it's a nice signed little Polaroid on there. And then that, that track tray, tell you what that is. That is an Ozzy Osbourne meet and greet ticket I've had outstanding since 2018 because it keeps being postponed uh, due to his ill health. And then obviously this year because of COVID. And also his ill health as well. It's been postponed like three times, so oh, am I ever going to get there? Yeah, the ticket is in there, just chilling. I do apologise, guys. I have had some requests before of, um, you know, saying, Holster, can you do a game room tour? It's just completely difficult to, uh, because everything is so packed, so it's so struggling for space. It's just, it's really hard to show you guys. Like, it literally would not do it justice if I'd kind of went along the shelves and whatever. Like, there's so many things to, like, dig in. There's there's other things that I've not uh, shown that are not visible completely. Um, but once I am in, um, like, you know, my new pad um, in the future, like, we will celebrate and do an absolute banging game room tour. We really will. A few years, it'll be, you know, the accumulated video game collecting it'll be absolutely worth it but it, i just feel that it'll only do it justice when you know i'm, I'm obviously like in, in my new place and you know when it's in like a really more structured format rather than you know everything everywhere at the minute because there's, there's things in my um shelves in my wardrobe there's things in uh that's my zombie standing he's in half at the moment because he just can't stand up unfortunately um, so yeah, there's things in the those uh, chests of drawers. There's just everything, guys. There's random bits on here, and uh, yeah. So like I say, it is coming in the future when Holster has her own uh, gaming mansion. <laughs> so I need to get them packaged up and uh, post office run tomorrow. I am out of isolation tomorrow, hence these vlogs stopping. Um, because obviously I need to just get everything sorted tomorrow. I need to do some um notes for work. Mm. Some of the notes that I've scribbled down from uh, the CPD I did the other day, you know, like the, like the uh, self-study kind of thing. It's a bit of an optional 
uh, online studying things uh, for my job, like all medical related jazz. So I need to, um, yeah, just uh, cleanly write up those notes and bits like that. So tomorrow is going to be my catch up day to get um, jobs like that done uh, before I'm back at work on Tuesday. Yes, I do work. Um, I've had a few, um, I've had like a few comments of people saying, uh, you know, do you actually work and stuff? And yeah, the only reason obviously I've been able to do uh, daily vlogs uh, is because uh, I've been in isolation. Um, and yeah, so that's the only reason why I've been able to do them. So it's going to be like a bit of a shock going back to like my, my normal like working life. But obviously I still get to do my um, eBaying and YouTube and everything part time. Whereas like the past 14 days I've been able to literally do it full time. It's been, it's been so good. It really has been absolutely awesome interacting with you guys. Um, and yeah, I might kind of incorporate um, some future vlogs in uh, part of my series. Because I'm going to do the car boot profits a house deposit. Uh, that's basically the series I'm going to do uh, to document uh, via video my, my journey into um, just showing how it's possible to uh, save uh, for a house deposit via eBay selling, which would be awesome. Obviously, it's very challenging times at the moment because um, like there's, there's no car boots, uh, not until like March next year, not for me anyway, no local ones. Um, there's no auctions going on, so I've been meaning to get down to the uh, local auction house, that's never happened because uh, they're closed at the moment, no charity shops, so it's a very challenging uh, times at the moment. Uh, I've had some nice Facebook Marketplace pickups, so I've had, you know, the odd bits, and it's just kind of kept my stock afloat. And I've also, to keep my stock afloat, I've also been uh, just literally picking at things in my room, and I've, show, I've showed that anyway, I've said, like, I've been picking at, you know, random items and stuff, and some of which are already sold, so like you say, that I am sitting on some money, and I'm just, the things that I can bear to part with, that I've forgot, that I've literally picked up off car boots and left stored away. Um, yeah, I've basically dug them out and yeah, we're making money on eBay. Well, we're on the subject on eBay, like we always are anyway. <laughs> always are in uh, Del Boy's house. I, I'm, I'm so annoyed, man. You know, I was on about, um, if you've seen like maybe a few vlogs before, I saw like a wee bundle on eBay, like 90, 100 pound or whatever. And the, um, the buyer was being like really clingy with me and everything. Um, sorry, let me just get out this light, sort of thing. It was being like really clingy and, uh, <laughs> yeah, because there's basically like, um, it's like, oh, do, do the controllers work? Does the Wii Fit board work? Does the rechargeable battery um, chargers work? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I've tested it all, whatever. And they was asking if I could send a video and stuff like that. And um, I set it all back up again. I sent pictures. I was like, yeah, yeah, it all works and stuff. And then the, the message back, like the other day, and they was like, oh, I can't. Um, how long do the controllers have um, when they're charged and stuff? And I was like, well, I was like, they might need a bit of a charge. I charge them a little bit. Uh, just to make sure there's working stuff. I was like, otherwise I've always like left them on charge sort of thing. And then it was like, oh, okay, and whatever. Oh, I can't get the Wii Fit ball to sync. And I was like, you know, please refer to YouTube. <laughs> um, I said, I know it's a bit confusing because when you first sync the uh, Wii Fit board, the light doesn't come on straight away. It even It's even confused me in the past. It's really weird. But the light doesn't always like flash and stuff. You, you have synced it, but you have to wait until you've loaded up uh, one of the Wii Fit games and then it'll prompt you to like stand on the board and then it'll all bring it up and stuff. But yeah, now they're like adamant. There was proper like, oh, I'm so disappointed. and I'll figure it out and whatever. And then they've come back today and then she's like, oh, I don't think the rechargeable, um, you know, the charger uh, ports work for the controllers. And she's like, I can't get the Wii Fit board to sync. And I'm like, she was like, oh, I'll see if I can send you a video via your eBay message. I'm like, really? I just knew. You know, you just know something is going to be drama. So I feel like really drained at the moment because I'm probably going to have to... I literally don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to have to issue a refund and pay another tenner for the courier to bring it all back. I don't know if I'm going to have to, um, you know, or I might offer like a tenner just so she can get another um, controller rechargeable uh, charging dock. It's like, oh, I just feel a bit like drained because, you know, when you, you're doing well, you're making sales and then... You get them daft Ebays and daft returns. I mean, I'm still in my early eBay days compared to, you know, all the, the massive big time resellers out there. Um, so, yeah, you, you know, I've, I'm beginning to learn. You, you can't, like, become deflated by it. you just, like, got to keep going. But as you can tell, I'm very deflated. It's just frustrating. It's really frustrating. But, like I say, uh, I'll see if they get in touch again. Um, and, uh, yeah, I might have to work out some kind of solution to it, a partial refund or whatever. It's really damn annoying. But let's focus on the positives. We have made some sales. So I think, um, yeah, I've already had this box lying around. So I think the Wii and 
you know the wee bundle with the game stuff that'll go in there um one of my small boxes um that fits perfectly in there to be honest so i'm going to get some foam underneath and on top of it uh, just to like i said just give it some stability i can't really i don't think i can really fit it's literally such a tight fit so i can't get any bubble wrap on the sides but i'll i'll do some layers of bubble wrap underneath and on top as well just to give it some you know bit of protection but um it's all about the lights anyway i'm sure they shouldn't be too fussed about the box she says uh but yeah it's all about the lights but i'll make sure i protect that well um i have found some slim <laughs> i found like a slim uh cardboard um you know a really thin one to fit the um ds game but that's when i, I went on the rant because i remembered about the ebay -er. um well, i mean how can i forget about them so clingy and annoying in my inbox sliding in my dms um yes yeah, so i was just i was just really annoyed like i said i went on my rant but yeah i've got a little cardboard bit ready for that um and yeah i believe that's it so we have yeah three more ebay items to do and then that'll be five in total to post tomorrow i can celebrate by going to the post office that's how i'm celebrating being out of isolation so it's like half ten at night now it's time for me to settle down with a bit of cod after i've finished editing through the vlog and uh, begin to upload it to youtube um so yeah this is by the way what i've been raving about uh still got to obviously unlock the weapon chat but that is the uh, calling card and emblem from papa john's it's basically it's called family photo and uh, yeah, it's got COD characters with like uh, retro uh, big hairdos on. And I'm currently level 35. I'll soon be prestige in no time. Yeah, I've been like really putting it off like when to kind of film the end for this vlog. I'm just really sad to be honest. Like I don't want to kind of end this vlog series. But yeah, the reality is I'm out of isolation tomorrow and I have to go back to work. <laughs> I have to go back to my uh, normal working life and obviously continue to do my YouTube and eBay selling part time. So honestly, I'm massively overwhelmed at the response to uh, these vlogs. Uh, we've done nine vlogs, including this one. Uh, so yeah, just thanks so much for watching and just having a bit of an insight into my uh, life in isolation and just typical things that I get up to when I'm chilling in the gaming cave. So do stay tuned for the channel. You'll see my usual uploads, my uh, live car boot in video game hunting once the car boots and charity shops, etc. open. I'm hoping to get down to a local auction house as well. I'd love to film myself uh, bidding on some auction lots and things like that. So I'll try do that. I'm hoping at some point to uh, be recording some gameplay, uh, some Resident Evil, bits like that, maybe even Call of Duty, a bit later down the line. Unfortunately, I can't do live streams because my internet just won't permit it. Like, we're on the fastest one with Sky, but it's still just not enough for me to do uh, streaming of a decent quality, unfortunately. So, yeah, I am planning to uh, hopefully keep the vlogs as part of this channel. They may be weekly or fortnightly, it literally depends. Or, to be fair, um, my car boot profit to house deposit series, that may be a bit of a vloggy type vibe to it because obviously i'm just going to be uh chatting showing my sales uh showing what i'm packaging up things like that so that'll be uh quite a vloggy format as well so once again thank you so much to each and every one of you for tuning into my lockdown isolation vlogs take care guys stay safe and i will see you in future videos take care see you in a bit <laughs>